Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. How is this? Oh. You see. Let's see what YouTube has to say. Come on, YouTube. You know you want to start. do this to me, stream labs. I don't remember how the things <laughs> worked. I'm pretty sure all my settings are the same. What am I missing? Oh wait, now the stream status is good? Can you make up your mind please? Hmm? You want to make up your mind? Mr. Uh, Mr. YouTube? I mean, stream labs hasn't said that it's failed anything. Maybe it's okay now. Maybe it's okay now? <laughs> uh. Anyway, so I'm now using... Uh, yeah, so I'm using my computer to stream now instead of streaming directly from the PS4, which is why we had all the problems over there. Um, I need you to let me know if... My, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. But if I seem out of sync... Here, look. Let me do this. New game, little game. Options, extras, options, options, load game, new game, load game, new game, load game, new game, new game, new game. Let me know if I'm out of sync because I, you know, because with HPDR or something's delayed and I have to sort out the timing, but then I'm using a different kind of OBS and oh my god, there's so many things. But, um, yes, so if I seem out of time, let me know and I will change the setting to make it fun time. Um, what else? Let me know about the levels, audio levels. That's very important to know. Uh, what else? What else? What am I missing? Um, oh, I think you can hear my fan. I tried really hard to put a noise gate on my mic. Uh, but I didn't really know what I was doing, and it's just kind of, yeah, um, uh, I don't know if it's unbearable hearing my fan, I don't know if the fan is like blowing into the mic, if you can just kind of hear it, or it might be the sound from the TV you can hear, I wish should have done a test stream, should I? I mean, I tried. I feel like you can hear the fan in the background, it's terrible, I don't know if it's a problem, I thought you were saying anything, but I mean it's fine. <laughs> it sounds like I'm in another room, really? Oh, I'm in the stream room, oh yeah, I'm in the stream room, I'm in the stream room, I'm sorry. Does 
it? <gasps> Wait. That's what, thank you! Thank you for telling me that. That's because it was fucking up my headset mic, which is directly in line of the fan, and not my, not my standing mic. Okay, that's good, good step. I mean, good, you know, good start, good job. That's like step number one, is making sure the right mic is being picked up. That's great. That's good. Okay, that's a good job there. It's funny, because I was changing all the, like, <laughs> all the noise gates and stuff for the wrong mic. Hold on. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I don't need to mute myself. Uh, Alright. I don't think... Do I need to add a gain to this? Um, am I loud enough with this mic? I guess my threshold's okay. I feel like that's worse. I'm just not sure if it's picking up my... Is it picking up the fan or is it picking up the TV? Oh. It's a wonderful beginning to this stream, it's good. Okay, it's picking up the... It's picking up the fan. Okay, hold on, hold on, let me... Try to figure out this. Aha! Ha ha ha! There we go. Is that better? No, you can still hear the fan, just kidding. Oh, because the release. Hold on, hold on. How's this? Ha ha! Ah, ah, that's better, I think. Is this good? Is this good? <laughs> it. This is great. It's so professional, the stream right now. It's great. It's really good. It's really good. <clears throat> okay, well, YouTube is saying that the stream status is good. Hopefully that means it's okay. I'm sorry that it's in 720p, but I guess that's just how we have to do things, unfortunately sucks because it you know would have been nice to stream in 1080p but i don't think my i5 is really capable of streaming in 1080p even at 30 frames per second which is sad but i guess life maybe with like less graphic intensive games it would be okay like i don't know something i i, I, I kind of thought that the hd pvr would be able to handle it but I guess it has nothing to do with the actual streaming, so... It's dumb because my upload speed is like 100 megabits, so... Uh, should my, my internet speed should be able to handle it, but I guess my processor can't, so... That's okay. It's life. Maybe I can troubleshoot some things later and try to figure that out, but... I think you'll find in 720p. You'll find with the visual quality? That's good. This makes me happy. Alright, I think we can probably begin the stream now. Yep. Yep. Oh, wait, actually, before we do, one more thing. One more. Right, where's my little, uh. Oh, it's in. Okay. Sorry, this, like, version of OBS is very. It's fancy, but it's, like, very new to me, and I'm just very kind of. Brrr. Anything more would be unnecessary. Okay. No. Alright, so. <clears throat> is the chat on the left hand side of the window, is that big enough? Can you read it okay? Do I need, could I, because I can make it bigger. Um, I don't know about my little URLs in the corner there. It would be kind of annoying, but they're there for now. Um, I'd also, before we begin, <laughs> before we begin, I would just like to say thank you to all of my page. Oh, that kind of covers the thing there. It's kind of embarrassing. 
There we go. Thank you to all of my patrons. I love you guys a lot, and I really appreciate your support of me. Um, as always, um, I have a couple new ones this month, actually. Uh, uh, yes, uh, Adam Daniels and Hugo Spee are new this month so far. And it's just really nice to, you know, just, it, the support is really, means a lot to me. So if you'd also like to become a patron, you can go to that link there now that I started uploading videos. Um, again, now that I have a computer again. Um, you get uh, access to the videos as soon as they're up, instead of having to wait for their scheduled time, which I think is the biggest reward, but that's at the lowest level. Um, and then there are like a bunch of other things. You can have a look there. It's only one dollar a month and it really helps me out a lot. Uh, it really adds up like you have no idea. Um, yes. Anyway. Like, I don't know, begin the stream now. All is fine. Oh, let me turn up the TV, hold on. Okay, all right, here we go. Are you ready? Are you buckled in? Is are you, are you good? Are we here? Okay, so hopefully this is all in time though. That was the other thing. Um, yeah, just I guess let me know if I seem out of sync and I'll play around with the settings. So let me just do one check here. So load game, options, extras, options, extra, options. Load game, new game, load game, new game, load game, options, extras, options, load game, options, ex okay. <clears throat> I don't know if anybody was watching. Anyway, oh no, wait, 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 I don't want to do that. Don't get out. What are you doing? Whoa. The actual sound of the game should be in time with the video, but I'm not sure about. There's a half second delay? No, why is there a half second delay? Oh, rip. Okay, hold on a second. Half second delay. Right, we're not ready yet. Half second. Uh, oh wait. Right, okay, okay, uh... What about now? New game, load game, options, extra, options, load game, options, extra, options, load game, new game, load game, options, load game. Is it better or worse? It's, it's in sync now? It doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, but, you know, enough that I'm not, like, reacting to things before they happen, or way after they happen. It's perfect? Oh, that's nice. All right, here we go. Thank you for helping me troubleshoot the things. It's always like this. <laughs> it's always like this. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Anyway. <clears throat> All right. This one, I think, is the one. Okay. So, in the last thing, we did a couple battle things. One with a tank, one... Well, they both had tanks, but one of them I actually had a tank. And we got to our squad. Oh, that's right. That's right. I was going to... I was going to go... Yeah, I was gonna go here. Oh, I love the way the pages turn, it's so nice. I was gonna go here. Uh, I was gonna go to this. Oh, that's right, there are like a thousand people to... Oh, yeah. I think... Uh, oh. I, I think at this point in the game, I'm just gonna have random people, and this it gets to a point where I'm like, just failing despite being incredible, which I'm sure totally happened. 
um and you know like when it becomes clear that i'm not using the right people or whatever um and then maybe like later on in the game when i've gotten used to stuff i can then kind of start strategizing who goes well with who and all that kind of stuff because it's just going to take too long for me to do it now and too much effort i think for the beginning of the game but we'll see i guess we'll see i forgot i had this in japanese actually um so let's i don't know i guess i'll do a little bit of training um maybe i'll just do whoever's got the le i don't really know what to do here let's do that wait oh no wait 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 oh wait isn't it like oh what the f how much experience do i have though oh i have a lot of experience look at it all right 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 that's right because you gain experience from the thing and then you use that in here to train your people right okay yeah let's just like do everyone for now oh i i can't push them any further okay it didn't let me push the thing any further oh i would not survive in the military <laughs> I can't deal with people yelling at me. I'd like, I'd like, like that kind of motivation doesn't work for me. No, mm -mm. you yell at me, I just freeze up. I'm just like, no. Nah. All that really matters is you don't take people to terrain they hate. And getting as much experience as possible. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Did Olivier even like announce the stream yet? He didn't, did he? Stream on him. Shame on you, Olivier. Oh wait, maybe he did. Oh, he did! Oh, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I was just kidding. He did. Alright. Okay. I, it's weird, my phone is like... Sometimes it gives me Discord notifications, and then sometimes it doesn't. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna give you them even though you're already looking at them on your computer. Oh, no, just kidding. I'm never gonna give you any. Like, what? Can you make up your fucking mind, please? Anyway, sorry. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, oh, did it? Look at that decision. Beat a new potential out of the lances. Oh, oh, oh no, you're just saying that they leveled up. Wait. Oh no, they all leveled up. Oh, well then I don't understand, but okay. Uh, so we're kind of engineer. There you go. I think I'll just do whoever, uh, yeah, has the, you know, is closest to leveling. You've been clearance for a new order, put it to good, ooh, you learn defense boost. Oh, this is nice. This order raises one ally's defense. Mmm, that's useful. There you go, scout. Sure. All right, we used all that. Oh wait, what's what's potential info? Oh, that's right. It shows all their five thousand things that I'm totally not going to remember. Right. Right. Wait, I only have one engineer. <gasps> Why do I only have one engineer? Oh rip! I have like a thousand scouts. Why do I only have one engineer? Oh, well. Rip. Do I really want to read through all their things? There's like so much, like, oh my god. I guess we'll just... I mean, I don't... Fancy's men. I don't really need to know about her sexual orientation, but thank you. <laughs> sure, I'll do that. I will, uh, do that. Alright, so that is that let me have a look at this quickly here oh that's not what I want to do uh yeah I'm just so there's so much <laughs> yeah I'm gonna fine-tune my squad here mm -hmm. uh all right, let's take out like uh, take out. 
Um, let's take out you. Yeah, I totally taught you a lot. Mm -hmm. No, I don't exit the command room. I just want to have another engineer. I thought they said Homer Pigeon. Okay, I'll take you, Dallas. Alright. Uh, yes. Okay. Now I will look at this. It almost sounds like Zelda music. When I was listening to the um, the opening like cinematic while I was sorting stuff out, there was a part of the theme that just um, made me want to sing Into the West from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I don't know why. It just put that in my head and it sounded like it for some reason. So you will have that. You will have this. Maybe they automatically equip the best. That would be nice. Wait, you have clothing too? I can't equip your clothing? Okay, I don't really... whatever. Let's just... Yeah, let's just leave. Let's just go do a thing. We'll just figure it out as we go. I'm sure that's totally the right way to do things. <laughs> Let me just save the game. Again. I'll just save it here. Sure, sure. I don't know how I ended up with so many <laughs> scouts. <laughs> I was pretty tired by the end of the last stream, so... Yeah. I really like how the chat comes up on the stream like that, just zoop. It's nice. <laughs> yes? Oh, let me know if the sound levels in the game are okay too, because I can adjust those. I think. Now that I'm not, like, streaming through the PS4, I might have different needs with my mic and stuff, I don't know. <laughs> oh, and let me know if I'm cutting off. Or not cutting in. Like, like if my words are getting cut off, because that's a problem with the noise gate. I can fix that. Um, well, I can try to. Or, you know, anything like that. Um, if it seems choppy or something, let me know and I'll fix some things. But yeah. Because that's important, obviously. And if the game's too quiet, or if the game loses audio, that's also important to know. Game sounds quiet. Oh, whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, my bad. ラグナイト燃料を運んでいたところで。このラグナイトは戦車の動力や榴弾砲の砲弾などに使うためのものです。僕たちに身近なのは街灯や室内ランプの動力。あと、怪我をした時の治療薬とかかな。え、ストリート
ナヤにしまってあったのを持ってきましたさんの信号銃か整備はしておきました旧型ですが問題なく使用できるはずですえっ、yeah, well, you are。イサラ、ありがとう。私はいつ出撃の声がかかってもいいように、エーデルワイス号に点検をしておきます。じゃあ、私たちは行くね。後で会いましょう。New episode has been added. All right, and the sun not shining my eyes. That'd be great. Thank you. ここまで驚異的な速さで進行してきた帝国軍だけに、いまだ防衛部隊の兵力は十分ではない。我が第三中隊は敵防衛部隊の増援が到着する前にバーゼル橋を奪還する。自由軍ごときでも作戦会議をするのか。Hello there. Ah, Rotto, you. It's my day here, and it was a good day. It's a good day. Most of the time, I'm going to go to the house. 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 私には戦果として期待外れでした、うん、いずれにせよ<笑>バーゼル卿は重要な戦略地点速やかに奪還いたしますせ,せいぜい頑張ることだなダモン将軍だ。中部方面軍の総司令官さ。中部方面軍。僕たち義勇軍もそこに編成されていたね。ダモン将軍は貴族出身で階級意識の強い人らしく、民兵の集まる義勇軍を目の敵にしているって話だ。そうだったのか。戦争が始まってみんなが一丸となって戦わなければならない時期に正規軍とか義勇軍だとかそんなこと言ってる場合じゃないのにな。さてこれより作戦を伝えるバーゼル卿奪還の足がかりを得るためにまず橋西岸の市街地を制圧する。ユンタ少尉、yes. 西岸河川敷の敵拠点制圧を第7小隊に任せる、うん、これが初の作戦となるが
Okay. Let's go die. That's what happens in war. A new episode has been added. The skirmishes tab is now available. Oh, great. About skirmishes. Here we go. <clears throat> Unlike those within the main storyline, the battles found under the skirmishes tab can be played any number of times. Perfect for amassing experience and research fees. Did I miss a word? Anyway. Try them if you're feeling underpowered. Press the triangle button to open the menu, then choose skirmishes from the tab select menu and pick the battle you wish to fight. New skirmishes are added as you progress through the main plot, and the difficulty of each skirmish, sk sk skirmish can be set freely. Just be careful, though not a plot battle, soldiers lost during skirmishes can still die. Alright. A new skirmish battle has been added. Interesting. I feel like we should probably do the skirmish? Yeah, let me just save. Oh. Let me just save, just in case I die, cause I don't wanna die. Alright. Uh, easy would be great. Yes, thank you. Fight in a skirmish battle? Sure, sure. We've received intelligence reporting Imperial activity in the area. This is your starting position. Sweep in quickly and drive their strike force back. Your objective is to occupy their base camp. Good luck. Okay. The enemy base camp is captured. Oh, that's the victory. Failure. Welcome dies. The enemy occupies Gullius base camp. All ally soldiers and reserves are killed. 20 turns passed. Ooh, position units. Oh, I can put. Oh, look at this. Hello. Hello. Oh, I. Oh, oh, I like choose who goes into the thing. Ah, I see. Okay. Ah, so I don't control all these people at once. That's good. Because that was freaking me out a little bit. Let's have engineer over here. I don't remember what they do, but I guess I'll find that out. Two over here. Some snipers. Somewhere. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh -huh. But two over here. I'm gonna take... Uh, wait, who was the other main person, lady? You? You can be here. Let's take a... Shock trooper. And... A... Lancer who looks cool. Maybe her. Yeah, this is totally gonna be great. <clears throat> okay! Here we go! Uh, oh, I didn't wanna... Alright, we're gonna die. Are you ready? Let's go! Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. We're gonna die. Alright, let us begin with, uh... Do they have a tank? Wait, what do we have here? They don't have a tank? That's kinda weird. Whoa, I just got, like, deja vu of another game. Oh, I think it's the the Condor fight in Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> I love that get that that by the way. Like I I love that potential nature lover. Oh, okay. Hello, do you guys want to die, dear? Hello. There you go. I'm gonna actually wait. Is there like a shock trooper? 
Yeah, I know you're evil, so I'm just gonna do this. Oh no, wait, not anti-armor. Wait, 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 I just changed- Wait, 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 I changed my mind. Wait, 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 don't shoot me while I'm trying to choose my thing. You stop it. I don't know, say again. Uh... 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 You can... Uh... Hold on. Versus person. Anything good versus person? Oh, circle is good against people, right? Because it's Japanese, so circle means yes. Here we go. Ha 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 ha. Oh, you fell into the water. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Hello, I'm gonna go through here. Uh, sure. Alright. Now. Yes, can they please? They, they better bring Fort Condor into the remake. Man. Can't wait for that. Uh, okay, what is this person again? I don't even know what they do. Let's find out what their things are. Let's crouch, first of all. So I can figure out your things. You heal... Oh, you're a sniper. You're a sniper. Can you snipe from here? I don't know if you can. No, don't do that. Just stand. I'm gonna go over here. Oh, the thing's like in the way. Alright. Let's do this. Oh! Zoom. Is that gonna be your head? I don't even know where your head is, to be honest. Here you go. Oh! You looked at me! Oh, that was scary. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go a little closer over here. Okay. In my current action. Yes, yes. Let me get my other sniper. Where's my other sniper? Actually, no, I'm gonna get my scout. I get this one. Take you over here. Uh, uh. Wait, what do you have? Oh, you have a grenade? Well, I can't see anyone from here. Oh, right, here we go. A uh, 15 to kill? Alright. Oh, Okay. Yes. I'm going to be my tank again. Or am I? Nah, I'm gonna be my tank again. Okay, let's be... My other... Sniper. Okay. Oh, you're hurting me. Ha 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 ha! Mo ha ha! That's right. Yosha! I agree. I agree. Hold on. Oh, 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 just- oh shit. You can't even hide? Aw, oh, rip. Well, you get to stand there. Rip a doodle. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna get my tank to do a thing. Oh, hello. Do you like to die? What are you, shock trooper? You're very close to me there, actually. Foom. I like how I kind of didn't really aim at him properly. Right? I'm gonna use it as a shield. <laughs> Excuse me? No, don't throw a grenade at me! Why would you do that? Ow. Oh, you hurt yourself, I think. Or was that me? Maybe that was me. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Ow, my head. Ow. Ow. Well, that's what that weapon is. 
Oh, that's right. Lances are like anti-tank. Ow! 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 Snipers are squishy. Rip. Alright. My turn to be a thing. This little symbol looks like the scholar symbol on Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> Under the stream, Chronomew. Uh, let's see. So I didn't really need a Lancer in this because they don't have a tank, but let's be you. Because you have a... Who needs healing again? Are you repair? Okay. Hold on. Oh shit, she's almost dead, she's almost dead! Oh right, no! Oh, I didn't know she was almost dying. Okay, so you're squishy too. Rip, sorry. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, I'm just gonna be my tank, hold on. <laughs> Hello, who likes to die today? Shock Trooper? Lancer, I think you can be dead today. Not nice. Uh yes. There you go. Boom. <laughs> Bye. What? What? Why didn't that kill you? Why didn't that kill you? Why? For shame. For shame. Hey, stop shooting me, it hurts. Fifteen? Uh Man, I suck at this game. Nice. Nice ducking there. Very good. Good job. Oh, I should did I should I, I should probably should have zoomed. Rip. No. Oh, rip. Bye, sniper. Rip. Can I heal you with this? Probably not. Can I hit you? What the fuck? Oh, what's happening? Oh, what the fuck? Wait. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Oh, okay. Mmm. Oh, oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. I'm scared. Run away. <clears throat> I should have crouched first, but I didn't. Oh, I was supposed to be in target mode. Oh, rip. That was my problem. Whatever. Okay. I'm gonna be a tank again. Oh, I can't. Just kidding. Uh huh. I'm gonna die. What are you? What is this thing? I don't know what the symbol means. Rip. Guess we'll find out. Potential. Oh, oh. I. Okay. I. Oh, okay. kind of things do you have? Grenade. No, I should use a grenade. No, oh, but I didn't. Oh, you're almost dead though. Okay, so she has like a machine gun. Okay, that's cool. Oh, she, she, she's a shock trooper. She's a shock trooper. Okay. Alright. So I need more of those. Mmm. Okay. All right, I'm learning. This is th this is good because I'm like I'm learning a bit more about the roles. Well, not actually in the plot. That's good.
I don't really understand the point of scouts, to be honest. I mean, I get that they're fast, but like... I don't know. I guess you could run around and heal with them, maybe? Or, I guess they have grenades. Maybe they'd be good for running up to a tank. Rip by Carl. What is this? Oh wait. Oh, Dallas is dead. Oh wait! Oh, he's alive again. Oh, nice. Oh, so anyone can be near somebody to raise them or to get them back or whatever. Okay, so it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be whatever that class was. Okay. Oh! Oh, fuck! Oh, rip by. Oh, do you have to land with your arm on me? It's awkward. Jeez, I didn't even get a chance to do anything. Holy crap. Let me use my tank. Oh, just use my tank for everything. Stop shooting me! It hurts. Oh, hello! Oh, hello! Area attack. Yes. Sounds good to me. Here we go. Whoop. Boom! Ma ha ha ha! Ma ha ha! Oh, look, I'll rip. What? Oh, you're getting someone to- oh, okay. Khan's been safely evacuated. Alright. Hello. Would you like to be dead today? What options do we have? Okay. Oh, ah, 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 ah. Yes, I think I need lots of shock shock troopers. That would be good. What? Oh, you're getting another person out. Alright. Yeah, you do that. Good, good. Good job. Okay, can I, like, skip this? Oh, I can skip it. I think. I think I skipped it. That's good. That helps. Alright. Now what? Oh my god. <laughs> well, if they use a grenade, it's gonna suck. Mwahaha! <laughs> into the water! Mwahaha! <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, I can do it like this too. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like it. Oh, this is better. Yeah. I like this. Oh, I have reserves. Okay. Yeah, I like this. Wait, orders? Oh, and then I can do the. Oh, I see. It uses. Oh, it uses a thing though. Ah, I see. Okay. No, 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 no. Uh, who should I use? Who should I use? I might use him. Hello. Would you like to be dead? I think you'd like to be dead, yes? Oh, I can't use it? Oh, I don't have any ammo! Oh, just kidding. I was just kidding. It's alright. I'll be a... I'll be a thing. I'll be a, uh, shield. It's fine. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! Oh. Enemy moving. Player phase. Yeah! Alright. I'm learning. I'm learning. Now that we have a million CP, let me try one of these. 
Let's do... I think defense is probably good. I don't know who to defend there. Oh yeah, let's do Rosie. Yeah. Oh! Oh, okay. Goodness gracious. Oh, hey, oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use my tank now to go somewhere. This way? Now I'm going to get you. Boom. Oh, oh, oh. Right. And now I'm gonna get Rosie. We're gonna go for a run. And she didn't get there in time. Can you shoot anything from here? No. Alright. Oh, I can't turn so slow. Alright, well, I guess I'll just sit out here. It's totally fine. Totally f fine. Um. Let's take Alicia for a run. Here we go. Oh my god, my dishwasher, can it please be quiet? Beep! 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 But wh why do dishwashers have to beep for a thousand years when they're done anyway? It's like, it's it's not like it's the kind of thing where you want to go rush and take the dishes out of the dishwasher and scold your hands and stuff. But, oh my god. Uh, I should have... Can I hide behind this? I can't hide behind that? Why not? I'm gonna die a death. Bye, Alicia. Uh, oh, right, I can go back into her again. Oh, that was a weird thing to say. <laughs> uh, okay. Can't select that. I'm gonna oops. Use this. I just use it like on myself. There you go. Good job. Alright. Dishwashers are hot, yes. They are. Ow, oh, ow. Oh. Very nice shooting of the bridge there. Very good job. <laughs> Very good job. Um, all right, let's go in there. Let's get in there. It's like this. Ma ha 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 ha. Hmm. Let's go. Occupy. Occupied enemy camp. Operation complete. Only a thousand of you died. Good job, everybody. Good job. Yes, we did. 
Oh, rank D. Oh, rip. Oh, rip. Mmm. That's okay, it's okay. We did a thing. We did a thing. I'm learning, sort of ish. Kinda. Let's get a look at our training now. Our training. Our training. Our training. Yes, 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 we're maggots. I know, I get it. Yeah, huh? Mm hmm. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I guess these. There you go. Okay, that'll do for now. Yes. Mmm. What about my barracks now, though? Ah, I still have my people. Okay, that's good. That is... Good. I want more... Yeah, I think... So, okay, hold on. Let me go to here. I'm gonna change my people a little bit. Alright. Let's take out a bunch of people. Oh, I thought they said likes Welkin knocked Dallas. So, I, oh, oh. Uh, actually, I'm gonna have a look at. Oh, I don't have any more snipers. Oh, rip. But I have. I need more shock troopers, and I have. What do these do again? Wow, this person sounds so needy. Holy crap. Oh, this person likes Noct and Elise. And somebody called... Yeah, that name. <sighs> oh yeah, en engineers like repair the tank, I think. Or something. I don't quite know what it is that well, engineers do. I don't know how to find that information either. I wonder if there's like a help thing somewhere. Probably not. At least it's in here. I'm just supposed to remember. Rip. So engineers give you more ammo? Is that all they do? They said- it, there was a thing that said repair. I assume they repair the tank as well. Okay, what do I- do I have many- actually I do have a lot of shock troopers. I have a lot of lances too. <gasps> Dallas fancies women? She's a man-hater? Oh rip. Oh rip. Um, you can fancy woman and not be a man hater, but okay. Uh, let I don't think we need this many lances. Uh, let me see. You like Nina and Hector? Okay. You like no one, so. Hey, what I do? Blah blah blah. Shush. I can't take out Largo apparently. Okay. So if I have Regina, Hector, Nina, who does Nina like? Melville, Regina, Regina. Oh, whoops. 
a uh, Melville. Oh, this person fancies women and fancies men. Uh oh, uh oh. Hi, Domo. Let's take out you and you. Uh. Uh, uh, hi. Uh, 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 uh. I'll have you. Okay, that'll do, I guess. I don't. Oh, I have the empty slot still. There you go. Okay, that'll do for now. Save the oh let's sa oh let's save the game. I was pushing the wrong button. Rip. Oh hey, you can see like the whole screen now too when I save instead of it going all loading. That's funny. That's pretty funny. What was I gonna check just now? Oh how long I'd been streaming for. Oh, there we go. Oh, an hour. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll just continue with the story. We'll uh, see if I die or not. Okay. The, um, the, imper the Imperial... The Imperial Force is deployed in a defensive formation around a camp with the vast Oh, shit, Sorry, that was a noise. Oh, one second. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> uh, the Imperial Force is deployed in a, in, a, in a defensive formation around a camp <clears throat> within Vassil's urban center. You will assign your score position split between a city team and a riverside team. Okay. The city team will protect the base camp while the riverside team strikes the enemy. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Your objective is to occupy the enemy's camp. Defeat the enemy units defending the camp, then get to the flag hung above their camp to occupy it. Alright. Beginning with this operation, you will be responsible for assigning your soldiers to their combat positions. Before commencing the operation, choose the position unit's command to view a list of deployable units. Then, once you have selected a unit you'd like to deploy, choose the position you wish them to take. Intelligence reports say they have tanks stationed in the city area there. It would behoove you to include an anti-tank unit on the city team to facilitate its neutralization. I would also recommend you add units with high AP, such as scouts and engineers, to your Riverside Strike Force. To your Riverside Strike Force. Wait, which one was this? the Riverside? Oh, the one on the right there. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense because they have a long way to run. Okay. Once you've got your teams in place, select the deploy command to begin the operation. Sure. Now it's time to get those soldiers of yours into position.
Oh, I can put reserves out as well? I didn't know this. Alright. Position units. Uh. Okay, there are like a bunch who are already done. Okay. Uh. High AP, you say? Hmm. Oh, wow. Our scouts have 800? Oh, holy crap. Iron engineers have 600. Oh, I see, I see. So I have a tank. This is on the river side, right? So I have a t I think? Yeah. So I have the tank, I have a scout, I have a shock trooper, I guess I'll have an engineer. Uh, we have... Uh, who do we have now already? We have Alicia. So, wait, who's the one who liked Alicia? Here you go. Alright. And then here we will have... They have tanks, so let's have a Lancer. Uh... And then I want to have like... Let's have Nina and oh wait 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 I want snipers I want snipers wait 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 I was just kidding I want snipers actually put you here oops I'll put you here and I'll have Nina. Oh, right here. Okay. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm gonna die. Alright. Sure, let's deploy. <sighs> yes, much good news. Sure, sure. Squizen! Move out! よし。第7章隊の初陣だ。河川敷側と町側。こっちとら対戦車兵よ。いちいち戦車にビビってられっか。その域なら大丈夫そうだね。では、作戦開始。いいか、これから説明することをよく聞くように。Sorry, <coughs> occupying camps. Camps found across the battlefield grant your forces a number of advantages. Units stationed near camps get a boost to their defense and to the amount of HP recovered at the start of each turn. Even tanks, which usually get no HP bonus, will regain some HP at each turn's start. Weapons with limited ammo like grenades, mortars and lances are also replenished. If there are enemy units around a camp, however, you cannot occupy it until they have been defeated. Ah. Oh, that kind of camp. Okay. Effectively defending your camps while taking down the enemies will pave your way to victory. Right, 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 right. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's kind of what I was expecting. I 
Actually, oh wait, I shouldn't have done that. Oh. Oh, I don't have any ammo. It's okay. I should have kept moving first. Can I run you over? Ah, 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 ah. Why can't I go up here? I wanna go up here. Okay. Because I'm gonna need that tank to sort out the other tank that's coming. Why is the tank even on this side? I feel like it should have been at the camp, but okay, whatever. Um. Mm. Oh wait, let me do like a. Wait, where is it? How do I do it again? Here we go. Let's do a defense boost to. Uh, my engineer. Oh oh oh. oh. All right, Alicia. Let's go. Get down, get down, get down. <laughs> Very nice. Good job. Uh, yeah. Oh, I guess she just says infinite ammo. It's nice. I also had to aim this thing. There you go. Mwahahaha. <laughs> good, good, good. Oh, where did you come from? Where did you come from? Such cheating. I didn't know you were over there in the grass. Wow. Wow. Alright, shock trooper. This is your turn. Be a shock trooper. Get down, get down, get down. Hello. Look at you hiding in the grass there. I see you there. <laughs> oh, being a shock trooper is nice. Yeah. Good, good, good. The victory animations in this game really bug me. It's like, ha, I murdered a guy. Yeah, you're not wrong. It's, it is a bit awkward. Yes. Um. Okay. I'm gonna... No, I can't do anything with him. Um. Okay, you guys can stay there. I'm gonna get... Uh... Maybe my sniper? The hide behind this. Zoom. Ha 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 ha. Yes, I got him. Yes, you did. Congratulations. I like how my other people aren't crouching, that's great. Good job there. This is getting fun now that I have more like option, more classes to choose from and stuff. It's nice to like strategize with and things and I'm getting a little bit more used to the system and stuff, which is good. Yeah, it's just very overwhelming at the beginning, like oh holy shit. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Oh. Shame. <laughs> it was me. Shame. <laughs> that was funny. Was I standing around the corner? Oh, that was silly. What? Oh. Oh, rip. Bye. <laughs> so suck. I see. I keep forgetting that I have the machine gun as well. Oh, about leader units. 
A CP symbol is displayed beside the names of some units on their profile window. These units are known as leaders, and they exist among both allied and enemy forces. In Squad 7, Alicia is one such leader. By including them on the field, they'll each add one CP to your to oh, hello, to your total, allowing you to control more units per turn. If a leader is defeated, however, that CP is subtracted from the pool. Oh, rip. Keep your leader units protected while actively seeking out and destroying enemy leaders to reduce their CP pool. So that's why they have little things that come out of them and they die. Mm, I don't understand. I thought that was just like an objective marker or something. I don't even know what I thought it was. Hello. You're just running past me. What's happening? This is weird. What just happened? Uh, okay. Oh, it hurts. You gonna retaliate? No? Just gonna stand there? Okay. May I have a turn? Oh, okay. About orders. Here we go. As Squad 7's leader, Welkin is able to issue special commands called orders. Orders cost CP to use, but some yield squad-wide effects- or oh, squad-wide effects! Oh, that can be invaluable when used wisely. To issue an order, open the menu in command mode by pressing the triangle button, then select orders. Choose a specific order you'd like to issue. Some orders will affect all units, others require you to select a target. New orders can be learned by leveling up your unit classes on the training field. They'll make the battles ahead easier. Yes, thank you. I would hope so. Because harder would be sad. Mm. Let me destroy this guy that's right here. Excuse me. Can you not shoot at me, please? Oh, look at him. Uh, I like how the other guy got down. That's good. Good job. Crouch. Alright. You do that. Is this a sniper? Yeah. Okay. Uh, zoom. <laughs> Good job, you. Good job. Actually, maybe I should move him a little bit. Get down, get down, get down. No, get down. I want you to get down. <laughs> Rip. Oh well. Rip a doodle. Welcome to the stream, Mr. Mr. Surge982. Surge. Okay, let's move my tank now. Hello, I'm a tank. Oh, rip. can I get up this, please? Ugh. Ugh, so hard to get up the. Ugh. Ugh. Hello, I'm here to destroy you. How's it going? Hello, would you like to die today? I think you would like to die. Oh wait, hello, hello over there. Hold on, I have a better plan. Hello, I can't reach your thing from here. I don't know if that matters or not. Boom! Wa ha ha ha! Mo ha ha! Mo ha. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, somebody else? I can use that as cover, maybe, with my scout. Stand up, you silly. Can I sprint? Is that a thing? Actually, sprinting is a thing, isn't it? Oh, I don't know how the... Oh, not that button. Wait, what was that? I don't even... I don't even know what that was. Oh, L2 brings up the thing, that's nice. I don't know if I can reach you from here, to be honest. I can throw a grenade, maybe. You wanna throw a grenade over there, somewhere? No, it's not gonna reach? Just kidding. Not this. Whatever, I guess I might as well try. Uh. 
Yeah, so I thought. That's okay. <clears throat> okay, you just sit there by the tank. That's fine. You're probably gonna die because of this tank. Rip. I got my shock trooper. Uh, sure, you can just stay there, I guess. Sure. Mmm, let's move my something. Shock trooper, maybe? Stand up. I don't think I see anything, do I? This reminds me of so much of Type Zero, this like aesthetic. It's funny. Let's take a Lancer out too. I'll leave a sniper in here. I guess. Wait, where am I going? Yeah, over here. Can you get down though? Why can't I crouch behind this thing? It's dumb. Okay. Uh, let's do my tank. No, I can't. I can use my shock trooper, maybe. Interesting game. Yes, it is an interesting game. I didn't really mean to be on the open like this. This is not what I wanted. Oh, rip. You seem to be dead. Hello. Oh, okay. Oh, rip. No, I didn't mean to. Uh huh. It was an accident, not a mean. Rip. She's gonna die a death. Bye. There are more units than I expected, also. Oh, you didn't hit her. Okay. I mean, I don't mind. Vroom, vroom. Oh, rip. Wait, is there more than one tank? Oh, rip. Uh, rip. Oh, hello. I did not expect them to have more than one tank. Well, it's a good thing I have a bunch of these. Trees! Ah, oh, rip. Okay. Here we go. Hello there. How's it going? Foom. Oh, bye, sniper. Rip. Bye. About medics. Units. Oh, now you teach me. Maybe I should have done the skirmish first. Units whose HP have fallen, have reached zero, fall to the ground in critical condition and cannot be controlled using CP. Leaving a unit in the state for three turns or allowing an enemy to touch them results in their being incapacitated. Oh, I see. Except in very few ex exceptional cases, this means that the soldier is dead and unable to be used again. In order to prevent this, an ally must make contact with the downed unit before this tragic end befalls them. When a unit reaches an ally in critical condition, they call the medic, who safely evacuates and restores them to health. I see, I see. Uh, okay. I forgot that you could jump over sandbags, actually. About ammunition. Each weapon holds a set quantity of ammo. That, equa that equates to the number of times that weapon can be fired in battle. Thank you. I realize what ammo means. For example, if the ammo reads 3, that weapon can be fired 3 times before it is out of ammo and therefore unusable. Weapons with limited ammunition include anti-tank lances, sniper rifles, grenades, mortars, other explosives, and so on. There are 3 ways to regain spent ammo. One is to wait a turn. Each turn, one use worth of ammo is restored automatically. The second is recovery by proximity to an allied camp. Aha! Units standing within camps are restocked to full capacity each turn. 
The third is restocking via engineer unit. Right. Every ally an engineer makes contact with will be restocked to full capacity. Keep these reloading methods in mind and a watch on remaining ammo levels to ensure your squad never comes up short on ammo. Okay. There's casualty. <laughs> on uh, on this map. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna... Is he close enough? There you go. Medic! Scissory has been safely evacuated. Alright. Alright, it's time to shoot you in the butt. Hmm. You missed! Aww. Rip. Can I get down? Can you not, like, crouch or something? I'm gonna take you over here. Hello. Now you're crouching. Good job. Okay. Actually, maybe I should have kept him over there, because then he would, like, be able to attack it from behind still. Rip. Oh well. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Let's end with her. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, I ran out of movement points, so that's why I couldn't with him. Let's try moving Rosina out here. Hello. A little bit. Wow, that was... okay. Move my sniper. Oh, I'm just gonna get him to hide here. Nah, I'll get him to go over here. No, you're on the open, right? Okay, so having an engineer over here would be good too. Alrighty. Time to play with my tank. Hello everyone. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the treads actually. Hello. This is what happens when you suck. Can I? Oh, I can go over the sandbags, right? Go for a run. You could destroy him. Yes! Whoa! Uh. Whoa! Uh, uh. Welcome to the stream. Um, do I exist? I think you exist. Uh, wasn't this game before JoJo? 
I've never seen JoJo though. All right, here we go. Time to die. Hey, they don't have as much CP as I do. No, <laughs> 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 that's the bunny. She's like, boop, like on his butt. No. Uh -huh. Like, hello, be here. Oh, was it? Hmm. I did not know it was that old. Ma ha ha! Oh, there was a leader. Great job, engineer. You did two damage to Rose. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. So, oh. Hey, why am I strong will? What the hell? Why are you missing so much? What's wrong with you? Scout. Actually, let's do a defense boost on Alicia. Oh, that handsome face. Oh, whoops, no, no, no. Let me run away. I want to run away. Let me run away. Whew. All right. Wait a second. Okay. Uh, yes. Who's you again? Stop shooting at me. It is rude. There we go. Ah, you're a leader. Yeah. Oh. Well, not ow, oh, just like, uh-oh. -uh. Alright. Do I do with Felicia? I'm gonna run you over there actually. Should take you this way. Oh my god, can you not get stuck on things? You again, Rosie. Oh, you're, they're dead already. Oh, I didn't realize they were dead already. You're not. No, why did you still? Oh, rip. Rip. You can't run very far, huh? Oh, 
build Alicia then. Go, 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 go. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Occupied enemy camp. Yay. Yay. We did it. Oh, C rank. Oh, rip. New episode has been added. Very good. Wait, 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 wait. Well, let me save this. Let us save. Yes, I do know what a C means. <laughs> I never said I was good at this game. I am new to this game. So... Actually, I felt like I did pretty good in that compared to my other battles. Episode has been added. Shuzai Nanka Ukete, Nani Samano Tsumorida. A you no Musco da Kananda Kasiranaka, the son. So say what I got to go in a boy, you know. まったくだ。たった一度勝ったくらいでいい気になられちゃ困っちゃう。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、
Sorry, I was reading the chat. <clears throat> Castlefront Street is now available. The War Cemetery is now available. The Personnel tab has been updated. The Weaponry tab has been updated. The Grocery tab has been updated. Okay, many things just happened. Let's have a look here, then. Holy shit. Okay, let us first look at the skirmishes tab. Is there anything new? No, okay. <clears throat> then let us- I wish that like L2 and R2 would change the- Oh, it- Oh, it does. Just kidding, it does. Just kidding. I was just kidding. Good, thank you, Mr. Game. Very good. Oh, holy shit, that's a lot of information. Alright, so that's a thing. Sure. Much in here. Very good. I think we're going to be doing a little bit of reading today. Alright. Oh, the other things aren't open. And then there's the weaponry tab. Mmm. Alright. Let us begin with... Oh, wait. Yeah, let, let us begin with the personnel tab. Are you ready? Are you, are you ready? I don't know if there's even stuff to read. There is stuff to read. Oh, change outfit. Hello. Oh. Oh, hello. Hmm. I can move him around. Oh, I can move. Oh, oh, I can move him around. Zoom. Oh, oh. Zo zoom. Oh, okay, I didn't, mean I didn't mean to zoom in on your crotch. It was an Okay. Okay. Now it was an accident. All right. I'm going to remember none of this. <clears throat> Welcome, Gunther. No, I, like, I didn't get to read very much in this game, and I really like to read stuff, so we're going to read this entire book. I hope you're ready. <clears throat> Lieutenant, age 22. Oh, so much younger than me. That's all good. Son of the late uh, E.W. 1 or I. Yui Hero Jen, General Belgen Gunther and leader of Squad 7. While attending university, his focus lay in animal sociology. Oh yeah, that's right. He was all onto the stuff. An audiobook would not. Yes, are you ready? <laughs> First, we must have the character introductions. Oh, good, I can just do that. That's nice. Alicia Melchiot. Melchiot. Probably Melchiot. I don't know how to say her name. I like this outfit. Sergeant, age 19. Also, oh, 19, that was a year. Squad 7 Scout. While a team captain in the Brrrl Town Watch, in the Brrrl Town Watch, she also worked as a living apprentice at the local bakery. Yes. Isara Gunther, Corporal, age six. Oh my gosh, she's so young. Age 16, Squad 7 tank pilot. Daughter of the late Darson engineer, Professor Timer. She was adopted into the Gunther family as well sister. Lieutenant, age 23, Faldior Lanzart, tank commander and leader of Squad 1. An archaeology student at the same university as Welkin, his knowledge of history is considerable. Eleanor Verrett, third regiment captain and direct superior to Welkin. She is one. I really don't know if it's supposed to be Welkin or Velkin. I, I feel like it's supposed to be Velkin, but I don't. I don't know what it is in the Japanese. Or oh, there is no W in Japanese, so no, there's no V in W in Japanese. Wait, it would probably be Belkin in Japanese, <clears throat> depending. Or it'd be Uelkin. I don't know. Well, depending. On... Anyway. <clears throat> she is one of the most feared yet respected officers in the Galleon military. Age 35, unmarried. Why do you have to mention that she's unmarried? You didn't mention any of the others being unmarried. But okay. Age 35, unmarried. That'll be me. That'll be me. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy, age 12. What? I don't see it, Timmy. Lago Potter. Harry Potter's actual father, no, I'm just kidding, Sergeant, age 36, Squad 7 Lancer. Since his initial conscription during EW1, that's EW1, right? Or is it EWI? Surely it's 1, like, what, like, what, like War 1? Europe War 1? I don't know what EW1 stands for. We can probably find out in the glossary. Oh, uh, Europe, uh, Europe, European War 1? There we go. There we go. Alright. Oh, went straight back to this. Well, that's nice. He uh, he has survived countless missions, making him the most experienced of the Sevens and the most salty. Yes. Bridget Stark. Oh, okay. 
of one of the Starks. Sure. Mm -hmm. Corporal, age 27, Squad 7, Shock Trooper. Formerly a bartender and songstress, she still be okay. She still bears the nickname Rosie, given to her by the bar-going regulars. Possibly a reference to Final Fantasy IX, but not really. <clears throat> Kreis... <laughs> yep, private first class, age 20. A mechanic working. I was, I was almost gonna go, oh, that's how old I am. No, that's a lie. <laughs> Such a lie. <laughs> Sally Sevens, official squad name, sure. Sure. Private first class, age 20. A mechanic working in the malicious R&D facility. His primary responsibilities include weapons maintenance and repairs. Oh wait, I didn't- oh he doesn't have another uh... Do these guys have like another... Outfit? Oh she does, she does. Oh it's her! Ah, oh, right, right, right. Right, 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 I see. Oh she has another outfit too. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, who are we up to? <clears throat> Leon Schmidt. These are the two people that were in the, uh, yeah, yeah, that are in the place where we upgrade the weapons. Private First Class, age 20, a member of the militia's R&D team. His chief task lay in the development of new weapons. What do you mean lay? What is this past tense you're using, hmm? Oh, oh I guess because it's chronicles, so it's like this has all happened, this all happened in the past, because we're reading a book. George von Dammon. General, age 54, born into a family with a long history of military service, he now commands the Central Galleon 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 Force, including the militia. Interesting. Martha Lipponen. Oh, hello, that's a Finnish name. <laughs> I didn't realize you had a Finnish last name. That's weird, you never see Finnish names in anything. Okay. Age 38, nanny to the Gunther family like her mother before her, she helped raise Velkin and Isara since birth, as well as five of her own children. Uh, oh, rip. A presence in the Gunther house since she herself was a child. Martha became a surrogate parent oh. <sighs> and source of assurance to the orphaned Velkin and Isara. So when you say surrogate, you don't mean actual surrogate. That would be awkward. Interesting. Oh, oh, hello. That's a face that's very close to the camera. Martha's baby. It's only a head, actually, wrapped in a blanket. That's all it is. Martha's son, born inside the Edelweiss, on the day Brun fell to the Empire. He is Martha's fifth child. Because four is just not enough. It was a different time back then. It was a different time. Drill instructor. Sergeant, age 48. While oh, you are... Oh, no, this is the, this is the guy that was salty. Yeah. Chief Drill Instructor at the Militia, I think. Oh, no, 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 he's the training guy, just kidding. Instructor at the Militia Training Grounds, his stern countenance and harsh words haunt the dreams of soldiers near and far. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Oh, no image for this guy, all right. Belkin Gunther, Belkin's late father, widely regarded as a great hero for his contributions to preserving Galia's independence during the First European War. Taina, also no image. Isara's biological father and a gifted Darsen inventor who contributed much to furthering Galian technology. He built the Edelweiss for his friend after European War I. Drill instructor. What an unfortunate name. Is it? Because he was just. Wait, that wasn't his name, was it? Oh, that. That's awkward. Why doesn't he have a name? Oh, rip. Yep, I guess he uh, had no choice in what he was gonna be. Yep. Kevin Abbott. Squad 7 Shock Trooper, age 25. Skittish and introverted, he found interactions with others difficult. He seemed rather uncomfortable with his role as Shock Trooper. Then why is he- why was he a Shock Trooper then, hmm? Kobe Caird. Squad 7 Shock Trooper, age 65. A foreman for- I like how it's all like- it's all in past tense, and then it's saying what their age is like at the moment, so it's like, I guess everybody in this book dies <laughs> at this age, at the age it says in the book. I don't know. 
Squad 7, uh, Kobe, obviously I don't want to know. Squad 7 Shock Trooper, age 65, a foreman for a carpentry company before he joined the militia. militia his bad back is the result of an injury suffered during EW1. Rip. Salinas Milton. Squad, but they like bending in the same way. Sort of. Squad 7 Shock Trooper, age 24, handsome and smooth. He was always popular with the ladies. A bit of a Lothario, he's made many a beautiful woman cry. Wait, this one's not in... He has made. He has ma Now I'm just confused about the tense. Because that's not entirely in past tense. Hunness selling. Maybe just looking into it a little too, too much here. Squad 7 Shock Trooper, age 31. Born in a richly wooded part of southern Gilead, he enlisted immediately upon hearing his hometown was in the path of danger. Mika Hawkins. Squad 7 Shock Trooper, age 26. A warrior and a perfect not that kind of warrior, but like a warrior and a perfectionist. He lets even minor details get to him. Oh, I wouldn't at all know what that's like. <clears throat> Making him tiresome company, but a skilled machinist. Eddie Nelson. Squad 7, Shock Trooper, age 17. As a self-proclaimed actress growing up in a tiny rural town, she was quite the starlet. Though proud, she lacks coping skills. Oh, rip. That kind of... That's a rip in a war. A65 and still fighting is kind of sad. Yeah, well, yeah, and also being, be, well, being, yeah, I mean, being young and fighting too. Terrible. Aisha Newman. Squad 7 Shock Trooper, age. Oh my gosh, she's 12? What the fuck? She doesn't look 12. What the fuck? What the fuck? She earned secondary military training credit at a record age and was permitted to enlist after expressing a strong will to fight. Yeah, that's totally great. Dorothy Howard, Shock 7, ha <laughs> Squad 7, Shock Trooper, age 18. Her family ran an ironworks factory in Fausen. She dreams of designing accessories made of precious metals. Smart? I don't know if smart is the right word. Naive, maybe. Nina Streis. Squad 7 Shock Trooper, age 29. Oh, that's closer to my age. Her belief that a sound body saves lives motivates her to train her physique daily. In nine years, she hasn't missed a day's workout. Uh -oh. Melville Young. Squad 7 Scout, age 19. Full of more pep than even he knew what to do with, he enlisted. Oh, then... Full wait. Full of more pep than even... He knew what to do with, he enlisted. Friendly and upbeat, he is quick to befriend pretty much anyone. Ted Ustinov, Squad 7 Scout, age 16. His greatest love was always making others laugh, and his clowning persisted after enlistment. After enlistment, he is highly allergic to most metals. Oh, rip. Oh, rip. In a war? Oh, rip. Wavy, that's a name. Squad 7 Scout, age 35. Considerate and polite to a fault, this Darson school teacher rarely displays his emotions. Monthly Leonard. Le I mean, Leonard. Squad 7 Scout, age 16. As a child of the Great Plains, he grew up around animals. One encounter with a longhorn stag left him deathly afraid of pointed objects. Uh, okay. Or stags. Nancy Dufour. Squad 7 Scout, age 15. Her life on the family farm led her to grow up rather shouted. She often enjoyed holding up in the stables with the animals. Ramona Linton. Squad 7 Scout, age 18. Formerly a model for the popular Galleon Girl magazine. She lives her life devoted to fashion. Yeah, I'm sure she does. Wait, she lives her life? So she's alive still. <laughs> this use of past tense is very confusing. Frisia York. Squad 7 Scout, age 18, called Dancer of the Sand. She roamed the desert as an entertainer until the Empire's attack killed business, driving her to enlist. Oh, rip. I like how all the, all the girls are entertainers and actresses and songstresses and stuff. It's like, okay. Juno Corum, Squad 7 Scout, age 22, a classmate of Velkins at university. She possesses both brains and beauty in spades, making her the object of many a boy's desires. Rebecca Thompson. Squad 7 Scout, age 17. Childhood friend and co-conspirator with v v v v v Vies. Vies? Vies. She came with him from a far-off land, half for adventure and half to keep him in line. 
Jan, Jan, Jan Walker. Squad 7 Lancer, age 27. Muscle sent him to the moon, where they be his own or those of the other gents in the squad. His little sneezes are just adorable. <laughs> what? His little sneezes are just adorable. Okay then. He's even more allergic to bullets than the average person. Yes. Nils did. <laughs> Squad 7 Lancer, age 29, a denizen of the capital city's seedy underbelly. His was a solitary life. He remained undefeated through countless turf wars. The old boor boor her. Squad 7 Lancer, age 18, an impoverished childhood was, has driven home the importance of wealth for him, driving him to seek fame and fortune as a war hero. And to continue having a pompadour, even when you're being blasted with bullets. Hector Calvi. Squad 7 Lancer, age 25. The former head of the local watch in his home village, he showed a natural leadership that won the respect of all his soldiers. Rosina Selden. Squad 7 Lancer, age 24. A sort of older sister figure to many sevens, her teammates affectionately called her Lady Rose. She enjoys working out when off duty. Yoko Mate. Squad 7 Lancer, age 37. She ran a well-loved Rand's eatery until donating all the food in her larder to refugees one day and joining the militia. Oh, rip. Herbert Nielsen, Squad 7 Engineer, age 18. Born in an arid region where the weather dictates one's day, he grew to avoid any energy expenditures he possibly could. Huh, that's interesting. Karl Lanzart. Squad 7 Engineer, age 23, he worked at a frozen ironworks until the incursion of Imperial Darton hunters drove him to evacuate to the capital. Homer Perrin, Squad 7 Engineer, age 15, a sensitive soul, a sensitive soul, but <clears throat> dwells within the angelic exterior of this young boy who volunteered for service despite his frail constitution. Right. Dallas Wyatt, Squad 7 Engineer, age 15. As the product of a girl's school for the well-off, she dreams of a life surrounded by flowers and shuns the unrefined company of men. Oh, rip! <laughs> of flowers, in quotation marks. Ramsey Clement. Squ I like how all the male engineers are like... They're like, Oh yeah, I'm doing the thing, I'm reloading the thing, and the stuff is happening, holding the thing. And then all the girls are all like, holding the thing like... I don't mean know what to do with this thing. I'm just gonna walk over here. Like, what is it? This ah, but okay. <clears throat> uh, Ramsey Clement, Squad Seven Engineer, age twenty-one. Her love for tinkering with machines and saw her enroll in a technical university. There, she began work on developing new weapons. Cause she's evil. Oscar Bielert, Squad Seven Sniper, age fifteen. I don't think he knows how to be a sniper, considering the way that he's holding his gun right now. He enlisted in order to keep his sickly younger brother safe. The scar on his forehead tells of a childhood attempt. To do the same. What? So he enlisted twice? Okay. Scissory Regard. Squad 7 Sniper, age 23. All, always looking out for number one. He elected to become a sniper in order to keep himself safely removed from the front lines. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> uh, that's something I would do. <clears throat> Medic. Squad 7 Medic, age 17. Responsible for securing and treating Squad 7's wounded, she is well- No, I'd probably- I don't know what I would do in a war. Other than cry a lot. I don't know what I'd do. Maybe cook the food? <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably be a nurse or something. Squad 7 Medic, age 17. Responsible for securing and treating Squad 7's wounded, she is well loved for her gentle touch and selfless dedication. I mean, you know, like if I had to go out into a war. Touch wood. <laughs> Can I not? Oh, we're, well, we're at the end. Oh, so so this is the medic, right, right, who like runs in. Her gentle touch and selfless dedication. Whew! Alright, we made it through all the- oh, there were like two- several pages of that. Alright, now we're up to the weaponry. Here we go. Galleon. Wait, what do you mean Galleon? It's a mil- oh, do I need to- Okay, a standard rifle developed by Gallia's only arms manufacturer, the National Arsenal. Arsenal. 
Created during EW1, it was issued to Galleon soldiers and saw use in combat before the war's end. By minimizing changes made to the action of existing models, developers were able to save time in realizing their design while also allowing for a wide range of uses. I, I hope you like this music that's playing, by the way. <clears throat> They're not at all getting sick of it. Oh no. While also allowing for a wide range of uses through further customization. Well love for her ability to carry fully grown armored soldiers from the field despite the fact she weighs 40 kg. Yes. <laughs> yes, don't judge. <laughs> uh, its name comes from the status as the first domestically designed rifle in the nation's history. The ZM car. Oh, sorry. Z Wait, did I say ZM? Oh, I'm turning American. Rip. I mean ZM. ZM car. Crafted by the Empire's top arms maker, Zechsmeister. That's really how you say that. This uh, rifle is one of the factors that enabled the Imperial armies to sweep across Europa. Substantially lighter than conventional rifles, the ZM car greatly improved unit mobility and won the thanks of those forced to carry them on their march. Its distinctive axe shape earned it the nickname Francisca among its users. Mags. EW1 saw a variety of firearms developed to suit a broad spectrum of needs. Among them, the machine gun stopping power made it exceptionally popular among arm makers, both within Galia and abroad. Though models of all shapes and sizes saw use in combat, the Mag's machine gun was especially prized on the front lines for its portability. Excel I mean, <clears throat> excelling in rapid fire speed and ease, it exhibited unparalleled performance in the close quarters of trench and urban operations. ZMMP the ZMMP boasts a degree of refinement so high it was lauded as Zechmeister's ultimate masterpiece. Excelling in firepower, accuracy, and portability, it represents the pinnacle of everything required of a machine gun. But the sweetening the deal is the high concentration of pressed parts easily manufactured at a low cost. With these guns in hand, Imperial forces cross Europe unchecked by the Federation and other nations. Lanza. <laughs> Lanza. I don't know if that's how you say that, but whatever. Galia's most common anti-tank, Lance, developed as a way to allow foot soldiers to combat to combat tanks unassisted. An armor-penetrating warhead is loaded into the Lance's tip, then fired at the target, detonating on impact. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> kind of uh, erotic there. Though its power and effectiveness are indisputable, its considerable weight impedes the mobility of the user. The, oh, that's why they're so slow, right? The weapon draws its name from its use as a lance-shaped anti-armor device. Sure. Sure. GSR. The GSR sniper rifle has its origins as a rifle made for use on horseback, built with all the know-how amassed during the Galleon S's development. Its defining feature is a variable zoom sniper scope. Built in an era of semi-automatic handguns, the fully manual bolt-action GSR was half obsolete by the time it hit the production lines, but its exceptional firing accuracy and brilliantly made safety saw it continue to see use until the very end of EW2. I hope you're enjoying my story. <clears throat> B-type grenade. A wooden handle extends from this simple can-type explosive made from a powdered regnite mix that emits a characteristic blue glow upon detonation. It uses a friction-based fuse system in which the user first removes the safety cap at the handle's end then pulls the internal ripcord to spark the fuse. Because the bomb detonates a few seconds after the fuse is ignited, requiring the user to swiftly throw it, then seek cover from the blast, its operation requires some degree of safety training. VBWF. Similar and basic construction to those used elsewhere, this friction fuse hand grenade is the official standard within the Imperial Army. Though the time delay and tool detonation can be adjusted via the dial or screw on the side of the device, most users were hesitant to deviate from the timing that had been drilled into them in training. Edelweiss. Designed and constructed by Isra's late father, Timer, this tank's 360-degree rotating turret, fully automated loading system and other innovations completely, re completely revol re revolutionized tank technology. Built to be operated by two, Vulcan mans the guns and issues commands to Isra in control of both the wheel and wireless radio. Despite its age, it was among the first to use angled plating and other emergent concepts 
yielding high performance from an early test stage. Its high cost was all that precluded its mass production. Light tank. Though originally developed before the outbreak of EW2, these tanks saw considerable use throughout the war. Taking the stage, just as tanks began to see use as highly mobile units able to work in conjunction with troops on foot, this model came to define the epoch. By the beginning of EW2, however, they had begun to show signs of age and were outclassed by Federation counterparts in terms of frontal firepower. Already into this. Okay. Alright. And now to the glossary! We're almost there. We're almost there. The oh, okay, this is long. Whew. The Principality of Galia, full of nature and rich in ragnite ore, Galia borders the Empire to the east and the Federation on its western edge. The small Central European nation is a constitutional monarchy ruled by House Randris, the hereditary sovereigns of Galia. The first ruling ancestor of the house, revered as a legendary hero of the ancient war of the Valkyr, built a castle on the side of what is now the capital city of Rondgris, establishing it as the seat of Galian rule. I don't know how these things are pronounced, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Despite its size of only 38,567 square kilometers and a population of just over 430,000, like the size of Helsinki, it boosts a rich and unique culture. The official currency is the Dukat. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce that, but whatever. And it is characterized by policies of armed neutrality. I don't think that's how you pronounce that either. And universal conscription. Rip. Universal conscription. It was a different time back then. Gallia's history. The nation was formally born in the 3rd century when Castle Rundgris was built and rule over surrounding areas began. When the Empire invaded Gallia at the turn of the 19th century, the king renounced his crown, instead ruling over an autonomous region within the Empire as Archduke. But as democratic movements swept across Europe, the Archduke harnessed that energy in Gallia to push for freedom from the Empire, resulting in the War of Gallian Independence. Stretched thin between multiple fronts, the Empire was unable to maintain its hold, and the small nation rose as the independent principality of Gallia, declaring neutrality and establishing a system of universal conscription. Gallia's topography. With the sea at its north and west and thick forest shielding it to the south, Gallia is naturally fortified against invasion, historically allowing it to repel even significantly larger foes. Hilly plains cover 60% of the nation's land and its mountains contain a rich store of ragnite ore, a valued source of energy. Large cities dot the flatlands to the north, while the rest is largely occupied by lush farmland. Gully enjoys a temperate oceanic climate with a little variation in rain levels throughout the year, and the soil is highly fertile. Because growing conditions for livestock and grain are equally favorable, Gallia practices a mixed form of agriculture. Bruh. This small town lies on the imperial border at the eastern edge of Gallia. Windmills stand atop the crests of many of the region's rolling hills, but few are as large as the so-called sister mills built from an old castle tower in the heart of town. Because it radiates out from the mill, Burr is now also known as Miller's Home. The town supposedly began as a hideout for royal guard soldiers who'd revolted against the king. Perhaps an echo of that, this town is just under 8,000. Oh, wait. This town of just under 8,000 nonetheless has an active town watch and rulers are famed for taking pride in guarding their homes themselves. Exports include dairy and bread made from locally grown wheat. Sure. Sure. The capital city, Rondris, the capital of Gallia since its days as a monarchy, this ancient city has the longest history of any in Europe. The city takes its name for the ancient war hero who founded it and began rule over the surrounding area, the ancestor of today's House Rondris, surrounded by castle wall stretching one kilometer in diameter the oh oh wait in diameter i thought they were saying they were a kilometer thick the entire city stands as a citadel oh i really i really like cities that are like that they're like citadels <laughs> but um i mean i don't know if i'd want to live in one but i just like the idea of them and contains the seat of galia's politics econ economy and culture castle run the greece home to the, i'm pretty sure i'm saying that wrong home to the Archduke, marks the iconic heart of the capital. 
Its single magnificent tower has been likened to a unicorn's horn, giving rise to the national crest that bears the likeness of the mythical beast. Sure, a unicorn horn. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Military headquarters. The Gurlian Army's central base stands amid a wooded area at the outskirts of the capital, known informally as Fort Amat. Triain, in honor of General Amatriain, who had a name that nobody could pronounce, who was responsible for restructuring Galia's military and establish establishing this facility during EW1. Within its walls lie the Army's command room, offices, training grounds, hangars for weapon storage and maintenance, and other military facilities. It also holds living quarters, a mess hall, infirmary, and a relaxation lounge for the soldiers themselves. Even R&D work on inventing new weaponry takes weight. Even R&D work on inventing new weaponry takes place in an on-base facility, with mechanics and engineers hard at work there around the clock. The Great Vassell Bridge This massive iron drawbridge spans the Vassell River, which flows into Lake Graz near the walls of Castle Randrgis. I took in nothing of what I just read just now. The bridge has its origins in the late medieval era when it was built with two towers at either bank as part of a ring of defensive installations around the capital. The 19th century renovation saw it made into a retractable drawbridge with a unique accordion fold design that allowed it to be operated by extending and retracting a single pair of cables. The city of Vassal grew up from either side of the bridge, prosperous in its role as a transit gateway between the Galen capital and the outside world due to its key position on both ground routes and a series of canals connecting it to the North Sea. Yes, I am still reading. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. I am still reading. Europa. Oh, I, th I think we're almost at the end. As a resource-rich part of the largest landmass in the Northern Hemisphere, this land has inspired those with dreams of domination for millennia. In ancient times, the Valkyrch managed to unite Europa under their rule, giving rise to a number of kingdoms. Subsequent divisions arose as influential leaders within each of the kingdoms chose to splinter off to form new nations, and it was not long before the first campaigns of conquest began. Oh look, it's uh, France and uh, Germany and stuff. By the 1800s, the balance of power lay split between the East European Imperial Alliance and the Atlantic Federation, with the small nations in their shadows left to weather the waves caused by the clash of this, these two behemoths. Or behemoths, as I would have called them when I was like 10. <clears throat> E European Imperial Alliance, a conglomerate how you pronounce that, of nations united under the rule of the East European Emperor, commonly referred to as the Empire. The Industrial Revolution that occurred when ragnite was discovered as a useful energy source saw the nations of Eastern Europe, pioneers in machine technology, rise to power. Already tightly bound by a network of marriages amongst their royalty, probably very inbred and such, these nations now hold, now join hands in a formal internal alliance. While not technically an autocracy, the, imp the Emperor enjoys limitless authority within the alliance. The Empire retains customs and practices held over from medieval times, and its people are known to harbor conservative views, including a strong hatred for the Darsen race, because they're all dicks. EC, European Calendar. This calendar, used across Europe, has, its, has at its origin... The Scare me like that, please. Holy shit. Not only, like, I don't know what she did. She, like, dragged something across the floor and almost had a heart attack. This, <laughs> this calendar used across Europa has, at its origin, the Volk conquest of the continent. For this reason, it is also known as the Vel. Ah, oh, Velk. Vel. Because Vel, 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 it's Valkyria. I don't actually know how to pronounce this game. Valkyria? Valkyria? Valkyrian calendar. Each year. Uh, each year is counted in relation to the year the Darsen people were subdued. Wow, that's great. And Europa was united as a continent. Years predating the unification are denoted as BC, or before conquest. That's funny. That's funny. The First European War. Friction between Federation and Empire surrounding Ragnite resources escalated into a continent-wide war, EW1. The Industrial Revolution of the 18th century led to skyrocketing demand for Ragnite, pitting Europe's twin giants in a race for resources. When the Crown Prince of the Empire was assassinated at the start of the 20th century, tensions spiralled into all-out war. Though the Imperial Force employed a core of newly developed tanks, hostil 
uh, uh, of newly developed tanks, hostilities soon became bogged down in fruitless trench warfare, and the two exhausted powers ultimately signed a ceasefire agreement just like World War One. During the war, Gallia's military, led by General Velgen Gunther's tank corps, foiled an imperial invasion attempt. Whew! The Second European War. Wait, was that right? Was it more to this? No, okay. <clears throat> the Second European. Sorry, European War, not European. European War. Beginning as an imperial incursion into Federation land, EW2 quickly engulfed the entire continent in what became the largest scale war in Europe's history. Though EW1 ended in a stalemate, both powers had spent the intervening years stockpiling arms and preparing for the inevitable return to hostilities. After a short 20 year pause, the em wait, have we, have, have we reached EW2 in the game? Or is it EW1 we're doing in the game? Is this spoilers? Anyway, <clears throat> though EW1 ended in a stalemate, both powers had spent the intervening years stockpiling arms and preparing for the inevitable return to hostilities. After a short 20 year pause, the Empire began the invasion anew, taking three of the Federation's border republics in quick succession. Federation responded. I mean, I guess it's not really spoilers because it's just World War Two. The Federation responded with a formal declaration of war. It wasn't long before the forces of both superpowers began to spill across the borders of other neighboring nations. Soon, all of Europe was caught up in a war that dwarfed all those in memory, except for World War One. Universal conscription. One of Gallia's national precepts states that all citizens are eligible to be drafted into service in times of war. Eligible. That's great. They're eligible. Hmm? Enacted as a way to enforce the position of armed neutrality adopted after Galia won its independence, the law prescribes a three-stage draft according to need and applies to men and women alike. Oh, that's interesting. Schools of each level offer mandatory military education and all citizens are required to graduate from middle school, meaning all Galleons have basic training and combat skills. Universities double as officer training schools and graduates are eligible for the rank of lieutenant upon enlistment. Oh, the Galleon army. A standing self-defense force serves to uphold Galia's position of neutrality. As every citizen receives basic military training, most of Galia is also guarded by independent watch groups and defensive preparations are made on a town, neighborhood, and household level. In times of peace, Galia's army is made up of 80,000 ground units, 10,000 marine units, and 2,000 military police units, in addition to the autonomous town watches found across the nation. When at war, a militia is drafted from the civilian public and assembled under that standing force called the Galian army. Officers from the Galian army are assigned to lead militia regiments and battalions as necessary. Galian National Arsenal As the nation's only arms manufacturer, the National Arsenal both develops and constructs all of Galia's weapons. Seeking the production of arms as a part of national defense, leaders elected to end weapons importation and founded a new domestic arsenal during EW1. This also helped keep weapons technology and plans from leaking to foes. Professor Timer, creator of the tank that war hero General Gonther operated, was a major player in the Arsenal's initial staff, matched only by Bernhard. Uh, Brondel and skill. Brondel, who rose to lead the Arsenal, is said to have amassed his considerable knowledge through close fringes of the number of talented Dawson engineers. At the turn of the 20th century, a time when trench combat was the primary form of warfare, these armoured vehicles were created to break across defensive lines. Their design employs a Ragnarine fuel combustion engine in which energy is harnessed from the explosive ignition of liquid ragnite. Byproducts include a distinctively light and extreme heat, requiring the addition of a radiator at the tank's rear to prevent overheating. Originally used to cross trenches and as foot soldier support, Econo economic and technological advances have seen tanks grow to fill a number of combat roles. After the Empire employed highly mobile attack tanks in EW1, all of Europe began to develop new vehicles, leading to the device array of models seen today. Ragnite. Ah, this is what it looks like. Very, uh, basic looking crystal there. As Europe's primary energy source, this ore has become vital to daily existence. It luminesces a characteristic blue hue and releasing the energy it contains. Mined primarily in, mountain, ma in mountainous regions, the raw ore is then refined for use in any number of applications. Though the ore's existence was known in ancient times, it was not until the Valkyrie brought their refinery technology to Europe that, it, that its use began. Did I just hear thunder? That its use began. Since the Industrial Revolution, it has become a vital ingredient to human civilization. A surging need for tank fuel and weaponry 
The riot from the ore has recently driven Europe's nations to expand their borders in a growing war for resources. Uses of Ragnite Depending on the refinery methods used, Ragnite ore can produce various forms of energy suited to a spectrum of needs. Refined into liquid gasoline, it can fuel lamps or power vehicles, granting it a broad range of civilian uses. Its military applications include tank fuel, an incendiary ancient and flamethrowers, the explosive payload and hand grenades, and countless others. Medical scientists recently learned that the ore also acts as a painkiller, developing a controlled disinfectant and restorative agent known as Ragnade. New properties and applications for the ore continue to be, discovered to be discovered daily, and few doubt that this resource will only continue to grow in use and value. Science Paw A perennial plant found across Galia, near and dear to the hearts of many, is a sort of informal symbol of the nation. Distinguishing characteristics include small white star-shaped flowers and seed tufts often carried off by the wind like tiny, well, like, like tiny snowflakes. <clears throat> its leaves spread close to the ground surface in clusters with stalks bearing the plant's flower at their centers. Sorry, flowers at their center. As an exceptionally hardy plant, they are known to thrive even under adverse conditions, weathering times of extreme hardship to bloom again the next year. Oh my god, we're done! <sighs> okay, now we know many things that I'm probably gonna forget. <laughs> uh, but it's good though. I feel, I feel now I have like a better. Let me just say. I feel like I have a better kind of image of the world and stuff now because so I mean because I can't walk around and stuff in the game it's kind of harder to feel connected to it so that all of that information just now I don't know how interesting it was to listen to but for me to read it is actually kind of nice I got to learn some things what am I doing tab select oh no 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 I can do it like this ha 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 okay let me go to headquarters <clears throat> uh yes I want to have a look to see if I Oh my god, there's more stuff. Oh, oh. Okay, first I want to go here. Oh, because I want to... Oh. Oh. I... I... Oh, okay. I want to see if I can upgrade some things. Let's outfit my tank first. Let's change my parts. I can only choose this thing. I really don't understand how this works. Never mind. I guess. Let's develop weapons instead. Yeah. Blast suit. What's a blast suit? Oh, what's this? Oh, oh. Can I? Oh, I can select this. Oh. Okay. okay. So I can't select. Okay. Doesn't it usually have like a thing on it when I can select it or something? Doesn't it usually have a thing? Or something. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure last time I had like a empty space or something. Okay, so I guess never mind. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just not. Oh my god, I didn't realize it did this. Oh, 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 oh. I guess I'm not just not good enough yet to do stuff. That's okay. I'm key. All right. <clears throat> Castle Front Street. What's this? Sure I am. Mhm. Mm Ikara. Ja Yes, why do this when you already have a radio news gig, hmm? で、もう、うん、在。私が伝えたいのは事実。うん。事実。事実。うん。そこで、これ。これ。あ、お、お、sorry、I mean to。うん、sure。検閲の入る新聞社では伝えられない事実を私はここに書き連れていくわ。
Oh, more things to read! <laughs> Signs of get You thought the reading was over, didn't you? Mo ha ha ha. Hmm 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 Okay. <clears throat> Signs of Galian resistance. Sorry, I'm here, I'm here. In an interview given on the 8th, the spokesman for the Central Galian Armed Forces suggested a massive anti-imperial counter-strike brewing. Should this come to pass, all eyes would be on how a force that has thus far specialized in retreat can stem the imperial incursion that claimed most of Galia by last month's end and now stands before the... It's very hard to read this in a newscaster voice, but thank you. Now stands before the gate of Randlugis. It seems the militia will join the army proper on this bid to free the capital from a siege, a fear that has persisted for weeks now. Some suggest that this move is due to the army's desire to conserve its own manpower for combat within the city walls, a very real possibility should this plan fail. Why are you clapping? Also, I'm going to stream radiums. Flames of War Sweep Europa. The Empire-owned and run Tears news outlet reported on the 6th that Imperial forces have claimed the coastal federation city of Valor. If true, the Empire would now hold a supply route for Regnite Transit, greatly influencing their standing in southern Europa. Unlike the northern provinces, Europe itself lacks for Regnite, meaning that supplies must be shipped in from elsewhere to sustain the Empire's offensive. The Empire's hold on Europe's southern coast means expansion of the conflict to all areas of the continent is more likely now than ever before. Federation is yet to issue a statement regarding the Empire's alleged seizure of Elo at this at this time. There you go. <laughs> yes. Ah. Uh, are you the creator of the Chronicles? That's funny. Why are you looking at me like that, hmm? Hmm? Are you, uh, hinting? <sighs> sure. Uh-huh. It'll be all about you. That's funny. Yeah, turn me into a video game. I'm sure that would be an exciting story. Uh huh. Please. Elit embedded. That piece is on the members of Squad 7. Excuse me? What does that mean? Purchase this interview content? Sure! Damo! Doitashimashite. Okay, sure, sure. That's the perfect time to strike. Mmm. Wait, so now is there like another thing to read? Hi! Hi! 
right? Oh, whoops. Uh, I oh, I didn't mean to. Uh, oh. I didn't mean to click past what you said. Okay, so I can't. Okay, I don't. All right. I. Uh. I don't. Maybe. Maybe it's later. Oh, maybe it's in the book. Like now. Visit the resting place of those who have fallen in battle. Oh, rip. Oh, rip. Oh. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, hello. Yes, that was a foolish question. Can you leave me alone, please? I'm trying to grieve for these people that I knew for about two seconds. Oh. Oh. oh, in the last war. Right, right, right. That's great to be reminded of that. Thank you. Thank you. Not at all, sir. I'm still woefully inexperienced. One wrong order from me, and my squad could wind up here. It's a huge responsibility. To respect the word of their lives. Oh, hello. Yes, please. Oh, oh, oh. An order, sir. I'm sorry. Who did you say you were? Ha oh, oh, ha, just a leftover from the last war. I my own it requires some experience. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> oh, in fact, teach them to those who lost maturity to use them properly. No, let's see. Oh, you're going to teach me to run away? Oh, 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 very useful. Thank you. Ah, to an injured unit. Ah. I mean, what is my decision? Why would I not want that? Oh, it costs money. Oh, I don't have any experience. Oh, I don't have enough experience. Oh, oh, oh. oh I want to learn it. Can I learn it again later? It was too. Yeah, it's too soon. It's too soon. I just I can't deal with making my people. It'll, it'll make us lose morale. You know, making them run away and stuff. I, I also hope we can meet again because I want to learn that. It sounds familiar, not enough money. It's, it's not money, it's experience. Surely, me lord. Oh, rip. That's cool. Okay, uh, so I wonder if I want to save for that or if I want to train my people more. I feel like retreat would be really useful. I think I might hold on to my experience for now. Yes, I'd like to return to book mode, thank you. A new episode has been added. A new report has been added. The personnel tab has been updated. <laughs> this whole stream is gonna be me reading. Ah, uh, just like Friday stream. Oh, hey, look, there's a little little thing there. What's that little thing there? There was like a little thing. On the left, there's like a little post-it. That's cool. All right, I'm gonna go to the personnel tab. The personnel tab. Look, aged gentleman. Hello, that's his name. Aged gentleman. I was aged even as a small child. Age 52. Oh, he's only 52. Oh, that's a wrong voice to give him then. A frequent visitor to the graves of his fallen EW1 comrades. This doleful gentleman has begun passing his learned orders down to Velkin. Oh, so there's gonna be more, I guess. Okay. Again, not in the past tense. It is so confusing, the use of past tense. <gasps> there are new things. Hello, Carl. Hello, Carl Lanzart. Squad si Oh, wait. We already read the first, right? Yeah. Me That's cool. Meek to the point of being paralyzed in the fa I don't know why he got more. I guess because we paid for the thing. 
Meek to the point of being paralyzed in the face of danger, he nevertheless chose to join the militia in hopes of a peaceful future with his lover. Oh. Oh. I see. I see. Hold on. I need to now... Yeah, do it this way. Oscar, be alert. Be alert. Oscar, be alert. Uh, he tries to play the strong big brother to Emil, but he's actually quite timid. Terrified of thunder and mice, he always keeps his distance from the kitchen. There's lots of thunder in the kitchen, you know. Mmm. Look at us. Doing things. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, let me do a skirmish. Nah, I'm into a skirmish. I'm just kidding. Let me do this. Wait, no, let me save. Let me, let me, I mean, talking doesn't really count as progression, but whatever, let's just save anyway. I already said welcome to the stream, Red Games. You just missed it. But okay. Welcome to the stream again, Red Games. Oh, welcome to the stream, Adam Daniels. What do you mean, your two cents? What do you mean? What does this mean? Alright, yes, let's view the episode. Let's go. Off we go. Whew. Off we go. Hello, everyone. Squad 7's impression of the enemy camp on the West Bank gave us foothold we needed. Is it annoying if I read over their voices? It's annoying, isn't it? I thought they said Captain Carrot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, thank you for donating, Red Games. Thanks for welcoming me to the stream. Th you're welcome. You're <laughs> welcome. <laughs> oh, thank you for the donation. I appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> does it show up nicely? Oh, look at that! Look at you being there on the thing on the side there. Oh, oh, oh. I'm glad it's. Doing it good. Okay. <clears throat> oh, welcome to the stream, Elio. Le Japon's who took the point, crossing the bridge and attacking the eastern camp. Right, right. Mm. Yes, what kind of on-site backup supplies? Wait a minute. Oh. Sometimes being a soldier means being uh, thrown into the enemy's face as uh, fodder. Yep, yeah, right? You just have to take it. Because uh, you're just a pawn in all of this. Ha oh, oh, ha oh, oh. ha ha. you're wrong, Falio. Captain Carrot, may I go observe the area around the bridge? Observe it? I don't mind. Velikin! From what I'm noticing, it appears the title of this game is not referring to the actual goddess. No. No. It is about... It re it's the it's referring to the vel uh, which I don't remember what that is. <clears throat> is it the peoples or the something? <sighs> the yes, yep. Look at her face, it changed so, so suddenly. Yes, Captain. Hi. Uh, 
Time for some angst. Oh, oh, oh. I keep thinking that he has a little um, headset on. Like, I keep thinking he has a little mic wrapping around his face, but actually, it's just whatever that is. It's on his neck. It's android parts. Look at her face! Let them have it out! You can't just ignore them! I'm not ignoring them. I think it's important that they say what they're thinking. Yeah, sure, butting heads over differing opinions is totally one way to bring people closer together, not at all drive them apart. Uh-huh. Interesting name. <laughs> Valkyrie profile? Why does that sound familiar? Hey, maybe that's the game I have on PS2. Oh, no, that's not on PS2. Oh, it is on PS2. <gasps> is that the game I have on PS2? Oh, that's why this doesn't look familiar even in the slightest. Oh, now it's clear. Oh, that makes a lot more sense now. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Why do they have to be so many JRPGs that have like the same name? More or less the same name. Um. I'll have to check my game request list and see what's on there. I really hope it was this game that was on there. <laughs> and not Valkyrie Profile. I just had Deja Vu, that's awkward. Episode has been added. A new put oh just kidding. Velikin's boast. Velikin's boast. It's really awkward that that's the wrong game. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I guess. So this is a hundred percent blind then. <laughs> What? With a dark hair? Oh! Oh, wow. Yeah, this isn't just a difference of opinion, you know? Wow. That's right. That's right. Yes, it's too bad you're a really good soldier. Oh. Oh, here's the other salty guy. Oh, guess I'm taking you out of my squad then. Yeah, I guess you're not going to be in my squad anymore. Bye! It's fine, I have like a thousand other people. Oh. Oh, now listen and listen good. Oh. Oh, so I'll punch you in the groin. After I punch you in the groin. Yeah, and then I'll punch you in the groin. <laughs> You'll take my orders and like it. 
Are you sure you want to be punching the groin? Jota, I have no faith in you, Wilkin. <laughs> She'll be right. <laughs> A new episode has been added. About sub episodes. Some episodes listed in book mode are marked with an asterisk. A -a asterisk. By the way, it looks like that. Okay, I, I have a little sword to tell just for like one second. So you know, you know the comic asterisk. You know the comic. Well, this one time, and this is really boring. Sorry. This one time when I was in class and I was like eight or something. For some reason I picked up the comic and I started reading it, and the teacher was like, "Oh, you like asterisk?" And I was like. Yeah, sure. And then, like, everybody thought that I really loved that comic, even though I actually didn't really enjoy it that much. I was just reading it for some reason I don't know. So, that's the whole story. Just came back to me. Anyway, <clears throat> these are sub episodes, often telling a side story tangential to the main plot. For that reason, it is not necessary to view them in order to advance in the game. Though there is no penalty for skipping some episodes, they often offer a different perspective on the events unfolding in the story you won't find elsewhere, and why on earth would you want to skip those? Mmm. Okay, well, let's watch this. Yes, we shall view this episode. Oh, wait. Wait, is this a battle one? Because I don't- I need to- Oh, I need to save- I rip- Maybe not. Oh, no, 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 because they said you can skip them, so. Velkin! Yes? You just made the same promise! Don't you know that you suck and won't be able to do the thing? I'm sorry, this is all my fault. It's totally my fault that I'm this race and they are ignorant little pieces of shit. It's nobody's fault. Actually, it's their fault, but I can't say that because I'm the commander person. It's a war. We're all on edge here. It's just fine that everybody's being a dick to you. It's totally okay because we're at war and everything's okay when we're at war, apparently. <laughs> um. Th this is not the way to be a leader, I'm sorry. This is not the way to lead. To be a, a, to be like, oh, they're fine, they're, they could be ignorant pricks, because we're at war. Then no, you can't do that, no, you have to shut them down immediately, like, because you're the team, you have to be a fucking leader, who are you? Why are you the leader, anyway? I feel like Alicia should be the leader, she's the one that actually says the stuff. But okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is, isn't it like treason or whatever to... Or maybe not treason, but like to be like, I'm not going to take your orders, you're the leader. Like, isn't that... Can't you like be killed for that? I mean, maybe not these days, but like back during World War Two, Or World War One at least. Like, isn't it um, mutiny or whatever? Hmm, yeah, now that you mention it, hmm. Oh. You follow me? I don't... wait... what? Well, East? Mmm. 
Let me save the game again. Here, we save the game like this. Like this. Let's go here. Now loading. ドゥルル。やっぱりできませんとだ。なんかすんじゃねえぞ。これから我々はバーゼル教頭が。Oh, why are you questioning your leader? Would you stop? We're at war. You don't do this. You will follow orders and you will like it. The prize attack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm. とても<笑> まず、エデルワイス号は水中走行で対岸に I don't know, I must just be the clock and stuff. Oh, the birds! Oh, the fuck is that thing? Oh god, we're gonna die on red! Bye. <sighs> Phew, that was hard work. Sitting in a tank like that. And now I have a gun, I guess. <laughs> Oh, it's the flare. Right, right. Now let's alert the enemy to our position. A new episode has been added. Oh, that was just a cutscene. I thought it was gonna be a... Oh, this is a battle. Ah, oh, this is a battle. Oh! Oh, what is this? Oh, this is the little thing that was there. Oh, what's this? Hello. Yeah, I'll view this episode. Sounds like you know some Japanese. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I do. I do know Japanese. But thank you. Um, I'm not fluent in it, but I could survive there. It's getting rusty though. It's been a while since I was last in Japan. Could be childhood friends? Hmm? Oh, rip. Oh. Mmm. Oh, no, wait, that was Bridget. That's not the one that I was using as a, uh, as my thing. Oh, no, never mind. Just kidding. I was. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, much angst. Good, good. Huh? This is weird. Oh, don't poke yourself in the eye. Oh. Uh, kind of both. I learned for a year at university. Um, a long time ago, like ten years ago. Actually, yeah, it was ten years ago. And then, uh, then I just learned on my own by watching lots of J dramas and uh, translating. Like, like writing English subtitles for things really badly. Um, watching lots of anime, listening to music, reading Japanese blogs and stuff. And then I've been to Japan a few times as well, which really like boosted. I mean, like, I, did, I didn't live there, but I went, you know, I went on holiday a few times. That really boosts your language. But yeah. But it's been a while since I last really properly kind of studied or read stuff in Japanese and stuff, so... Oh, Twitter's a really good place to learn Japanese, too. Hi,奥谷さん。ちょっと取材させてもらっていいかしら。いいじゃないか、ラルゴ。値を取材するなんていい心がけだよ。Mm. I also used to watch uh, Let's Plays in Japanese. Like, there was this one guy on Nico Nico who um, played all of the like PS1 Final Fantasies in, in Japanese, and he it was Japanese, so that was really nice. I learned a lot because like let's players tend to say the same things over and over again so it's like you really pick up those certain phrases really quickly and like his intro and outro and stuff like just stuff like that so it's like and it, it's kind of like you're part of the conversation without actually having to participate in the conversation because let's playing and streaming is kind of like having a conversation with a wall so it's well streaming less like a wall but when you let's play it's like having a delayed conversation so it's nice to it's kind of teaches you natural language which is good as opposed to like watching a movie where it's scripted um or anime where it's just not realistic <laughs> yeah yeah for sure i've been there um Twice? Three times? Twice? Twice, I think. Yeah. But one of my trips was like for three weeks. <laughs> I traveled around a bunch of different places. Anyway, sorry. <clears throat> yes, Captain Captain Carrot. Mm -hmm. Captain Carrot. This is a strange cutscene. <laughs> Oh. Oops, I didn't mean to click password. Rosie. Oh. oh, such humble, such modest. <laughs> Just to hear me sing. Oh, I'm just so great. Oh, 
Um, not, not really anymore. I used to have a lot of uh, Japanese friends on Twitter. This was before I started Let's Playing, so it was like five, six years ago. It's one reason why my Twitter profile is mostly in Japanese. Oh. Mmm. Yep. Oh. Uh huh. Allergic. Wow. I was gonna say rip, but. Her voice sounds so familiar. I wonder if she's in Final Fantasy Fifteen or something. Hmm. All right. Next one. I think I'll finish off this, and then I'll end the stream. Well, let's look at these next two things first. あ、ま、全く驚かないね。逆に私がちょっとびっくりしたわよ。空をずっと見てたみたいだけど、何かあるの空を飛びたいんです。yeah, let's use planes. Good plan. Sorrow. Toboom. Toboom. Do you mean? That's お兄さんとは血のつながらない兄弟なのね。ねえ、お兄さんってどういう人なの？教えてくれない？兄さんは客観的に言ってちょっと変わった人です。うん。うん。まあ、あなたも少し変わったところがあるみたいだけどね。う
Since you left, bro. <laughs> oh, Rith. Oh, Rith. I know what it's like to live in somebody's shadow. I feel your pain. It's like my entire high school experience. ジョーカンではなく一人の男性として見たらどう？え、そそんな目で見たことないし、わかりません。あれ？あれ？ギュンター隊長、そこのところどうかしら？あれ？ギュンター隊長どこ？うん。あ、ごめんごめん。ちょ
Maybe earlier in the week. I'm not sure yet. I'll see. But if you want to know where my stream updates, like my stream announcements, if you want stream announcements and stuff, and also just to chat with me and everybody else, you can go to my Discord, which is also in the description, should be in the description of this video or the stream. Um, I will update the stream announcement there. I also try to put them on Facebook and Twitter, but sometimes I forget, and by sometimes I mean 90% of the time I forget. Um, but anyway, I will be streaming a, a visual novel um, on at some point during the week. Um, I'll do this again on Sunday, probably, but because uh, I'm going to be like streaming two different games throughout the week. Um, I'm going to be doing a visual novel. I'm not sure which visual novel yet. But it will be one where uh, it, it'll be one that doesn't have voicing in it. So there'll be a lot of me talking, which is going to be an interesting time. But um, I'm really looking forward to that, though. Um, so yes. Um, but anyway, other than that, I hope you have a good rest of your weekend and a good week next week. Uh. Continue my trails in the sky playlist. Yes. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, what was he saying? I uh, hope you have a good everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and I'll see you on Friday or some other point during the week or just on Sunday next week. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Oh, also, thanks for the donations. Here's the thing. Bye bye. <laughs>